What is going on YouTube Reverse? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here bringing you another Viva La Vinyl classic album review. And it does not get much more classic than this, folks. 1969's masterpiece, Let It Bleed by the Rolling Stones. Absolutely one of the greatest rock records of all time and my personal favorite Stones album ever, which is really saying something because... 1968's Beggar's Banquet and on, like the next five albums in a row were just all amazing classic albums. But this one I think takes the cake literally because, I mean, just the opening track, Gimme Shelter, one of the greatest rock songs ever recorded. The Stones firing on all cylinders, but I gotta give a special shout out to the female background vocalist, really foreground vocalist on this thing, Mary Clayton. Her performance, man, she knocks it out of the park and really takes this song up a notch I mean, she practically takes over the vocals uh, midway through the song from Mick, who's no slouch here either, by the way, but uh, uh, just an amazing performance. And Keith Richards as well. He is like an MVP on this track really throughout the entire album because he plays nearly all the guitars throughout the entire record. Brian Jones was essentially absent and was fired by the band during the making of this album because he was always late due to drinking and drugs. Uh, he only plays percussion, I think, on one or two songs. And then sadly, shortly after this album was released, he was found dead in a swimming pool. Uh, so sad. I mean, like so many other uh, greats of that time. But Keith, man, he really picked up the baton and led this thing full charge. I mean, just those opening arpeggiated notes on guitar are so cool and mysterious, giving it this just kind of haunting vibe and then when those falsetto vocals kick in you're like oh man this is so cool i don't know where it's going and then by the time charlie watts comes in with the rhythm you're like oh man this is amazing and it just does not let up and charlie man another mvp on this record just amazing on this song in particular just the way he's beating the hell out of those toms on that dun 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 dun, uh, just you know doubling up with the guitars. It's so propulsive, amazing, and so just for that track alone. But then you also have one of the greatest closing tracks of all time. You can't always get what you want, uh, which is just a masterpiece from the opening acoustic guitar riff. That's so fun. And, you know, those lyrics, I saw her today at the reception. As soon as you hear it, you want to sing along. And then it just keeps building and building to the point where they go full blast, man, with a, uh, a choir just taking it up to cloud nine and it's speeding up at the end. It is just pure ecstasy. So just for those two songs alone, this is a must-have album. But then everything in between, there's not a weak track on here. You've got the title track, Let It Bleed, which mixes rock with a bit of country vibe, actually, and it works really well, especially on this song. Uh, there's a couple other acoustic country vibe songs on here that don't work quite as well as that one. Um, and one of them is a cover, uh, actually, of an old Robert Johnson blues song, Love in Vain, which is, is not bad, uh, but I feel like it takes down a notch the intensity from Gimme Shelter being the second track on the album. I feel it could have been better served like at the end of the record as like a soft respite at the end after you can't always get what you want. But um, Minor quibble aside, I mean, this is an absolute classic. You've also got Midnight Rambler, which uh, also takes kind of like the heavy theme of war and murder, just a shout away from Gimme Shelter, and takes it to another level about a murderer. And it's a song that I didn't care for as much uh, when I first heard it, but the more times I hear this thing and, and uh, the, you know, the intensity of the song grows as it goes and it's got this kind of gritty, bluesy vibe to it. Really amazing song in the middle of this record. And then you've got Monkey Man, one of my absolute favorite Stones tracks. I think it's really underrated. You know, it's, uh, it doesn't get as much radio play 
as a uh, gimme shelter and you can't always get what you want, but it should because it's got one of the coolest and off kilter guitar riffs of all time. Uh, Keith, again, doing some amazing things here. And then Charlie uh, really almost doing like a drum solo in the middle of this song. It's so cool the way that it moves uh, also has a very moody intro with that piano thing that's very cool and then mick uh just absolutely going berserk at the end like uh saying i'm a monkey and like screaming and making monkey noises it is just pure awesomeness and i love the way uh martin scorsese used it in the film goodfellas um Perfect. Of course, Scorsese's used Gimme Shelter as well on multiple films. But uh, yeah, man, every single song on here, Live With Me is really cool. And almost like kind of a precursor uh, to the song Bitch, which also has a, an amazing and very cool guitar riff. Live With Me uh, almost feels like the bass line kind of leads the song in that way. Um, I know I'm missing something here. Oh, you got the silver Keith Richards. I think the first song that he ever actually sang lead vocals on on an album. It's not the best song here, but it's nothing to sneeze at. And uh, yeah, I think I mentioned all the tracks on here, not in order. But uh, again, I think the only thing that keeps this from being uh, close to a perfect record is the order. I think, uh, you know, Let It Bleed, if if that came right after Gimme Shelter, it would have kept the momentum going a bit. Um, oh, Country Honk. That's the one I forgot. That's another countrified acoustic song on here that uh, the first time I heard it, I was like, where did I hear this before? And then, of course, you're like, oh, it's just a acoustic country version of Honky Tonk Women, the single that came out uh, predating this record, which of course, uh, everyone knows that track. And I prefer that version, but actually, uh, Country Honk is not a bad version as well. I would have preferred, uh, the single version. I think that would have made this album, uh, also that much closer to perfect. But, um, man, if I had to give this a grade, I would give this a very strong nine out of 10. It's an absolute classic must have uh, for any Stones collector or any rock collector, period. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. What are your favorite songs from this record? If I had to pick only two with a gun to my head, it would be Gimme Shelter and Monkey Man uh, with You Can't Always Get What You Want, a very close three. Uh, but yeah, uh, absolute classic and um, gotta have it in your collection. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And guys, we got album reviews all the time, top fives every Friday, top 100s, so much more. Thank you for watching, and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.